okay <clears throat> so a very good evening students so uh, just let me check whether it's, it works so uh, just let me check whether it's yeah, I think it's working and I'm audible also. So yes, a very, uh, once again, a very good evening students and I wish you a very happy and prosperous new year. Okay, now <coughs> today what we'll be doing, uh, as you know, NEET PG 2021, the date can be announced anytime and uh, we are almost very near to that. So what we'll be doing, we'll be trying to understand what all strategies works for PSN and how to make this subject very interesting, important, it's already important and how to understand, how to prepare so that we score almost, you know, whatever questions are asked, so we answer in a best possible way. So what I'll do, I'll just take you uh, through uh, before starting before going to the strategy I'll just uh, you know just give a small information about the plus subscription which an Academy has and the best part of that is you have live classes you have live tests and quizzes that are structured courses and you have unlimited access to what uh, to the topics and the subjects which you have studied there is also, we are introducing iconic subscription where you get the best of an academy. You also get the best of prep ladder. Now you have daily free test series on an academy need PG where you can take uh, the test series. You can understand both for PG, need PG, you know, FMG, you know, and need PG 2020 also. So these are all this uh, uh, opportunities you get where you can understand the topic in the best possible way and you can test yourself where you are how you are understanding the topic you know? and these are the different courses which has been designed which will start in January and it will go and all the different best educators who are part of an academy will be taking uh, through their respective subjects okay so this you have to download an academy app and this is the way yeah, the prescription goes need be subscriptions Either you go for plus one or you go for iconic one. So just you have to enter the co code and you can uh, access, you can have access to the uh, different uh, courses. Now coming to the, <coughs> yeah, good evening Mahesh. Now coming to uh, PSM strategy. Now PSM strategy or community medicine strategy, it's very simple and let's make it in a way, let's try to discuss this 30 minutes in a way that it becomes, you start thinking in this way. First, as you know, all the subjects are important. Whenever we are giving for, ex uh, for any exam, all the subjects are important. Equally, PSM is also important. So what we'll be, I, what I'll be doing, I'll be walking you through this 10 boxes, importance of PSM, topics to be covered in PSM, how to cover it how to ensure that we make a strong concepts, how to use the notes, how to improvise on the notes, how we know which are the high yielding topics which can fetch the questions, how to understand, comprehend formulas, values, numerical based questions and the most important is how do we revise how we ensure that we cover the recent update and the last box any other this can work individually for separate students it can be good for you it, yeah, the thing which works for you may not work for me the thing which works for me cannot work for you so any other way means it it depends upon how it becomes easy for you to understand so what i will be doing i'll be basically talking on this 10 you know 10 boxes so that should be our strategy whenever we are trying to understand, we are trying to comprehend in uh, the, the subject so that we can solve all the questions with ease. Let's start. Now, as you all know, every subject is important. Every subject is important. So equally, PSM is also important. 
So in, I have taken this from the last year uh, prospectus. If you see almost tentatively 25 questions uh, is, uh, you know, you, you can get from the subject called community medicine. So 25, if I just take the number 25 by 300, so roughly if you can, so this is also important. So all others are also important. So PSM is also important. Because it will fetch you 25 questions on an average. Last year, 2020 PG, if you say, if you see direct, indirect, because many topics you are reading in microbiology also, you're reading pharmacology also, you're reading medicine also, you're reading pediatric also, you're reading OBG also. So there are many topics which are integrated. Now, 25, if I said, if I take need 2020 PG question pattern, so almost more than 30 to 36 question, questions were no, related to PSM. So, this is important. If we can score all these questions with correct answers, so we get 30 questions done correctly. So, the importance is there. Right? Others are also important. I'm not saying others are not. All subjects are important. Equally, PSM is also important. Now, topics to be covered in PSM and how should we cover it? And because already we are in the month of January, we, we, we must have gone through one revision, two revision, two times, three times, we must have completed to best of our understanding. So let's try to see, have we covered all the topics? How to cover it so that we get, uh, you know, uh, we should be smart so that less effort is put and we can co cover almost all the topic because it's not that we, we can be strong in one subtopic, we may not be strong in other subtopic. So we have to cover all the topics. So how should we, how should we move forward? That is very important. Now I'll just give you an example. What happens students, every student, including me, we try to cover all topics. Can you, every student tries, let's cover all the topic. But what we have to do, we have to ensure that we cover all topics with strategic prioritization. You have to prioritize. Now, why I say prioritize? Because there will be many topics where you are comfortable. You, are, you have got a good concept, good understanding. So that is your strength. But there may be few topics where you are not good at that. So that can be your weakness. So what I am saying, we have to cover all topics. When we have listing of all topics, can we prioritize based on my strength? and can be prioritized the topic based on my weakness. Now, you know, these are the topics, important topic, concept of health and disease, epidemiology, screening of disease, immunization, biostatistics, healthcare delivery system, programs, policies, RMN, CHA, which includes family planning, demographic, OBG, preventive OBG and pediatrics, environmental health, occupational, international health, and last, which is always there with all the topic, any recent update. Now, these are the important topics, important, so if I am a student, so I am very good in epidemiology, for example, I am very good in immunization, I may not be very good in international health, I may not be very good in environmental health, so I have to decide on these topics which are my strength, right, so what I will do, I will try to decide which are my strength, right, all if, so, if I know my strengths and if I know my weaknesses, now I will continue to, you know, continue to build on my strength so that I don't lose this and try to work on my weakness. So these are the topics. We have to cover all topics, but you have to prioritize which topic is your weak part and how can you make it, how can you bring this topic from weak to strength? First. Second, now let's take an example, international health. Suppose I have not read international health in, a, uh, in detail I, and I don't have much understanding of international health, just to give an example. And I see there are, but this is also a chapter, I have to know, no, if I put this international health in weakness comp box and I know there is a possibility, if not one question can be asked. So what I will do, I'll put this international health in the weakness category. Let's try to understand this. Let's try to comprehend this. And let's try to bring this to this, this box. So every student will have a strength. 
every student will have one or two weakness everyone including me anyone so you are very good in epidemiology you may not be very good in healthcare delivery system you may be very good in healthcare delivery system somebody may not be good in biostatistics so first second community medicine we have to see all the topics it's not that okay we are very good in epidemiology screening and biostatistics we have given a lot of uh, time we have we are good now but these are the topics also this will fetch questions so these are the topics we cannot neglect or we cannot uh, undermine it so the bottom line is this book which i have written students we have to cover all topic but the strategic prioritization is very important every student will have a strength you may be very good in epidemiology i may not be very good in epidemiology so i will give focus on epidemiology then the second this is the based on my strength and weakness second i see which is the topic make uh, seeing the last five year question pattern which caters more questions which is concept based which will help in other topics also in understanding so let's try to focus on that so please students as of now if you have you know your weaknesses you know your strength try to improve on your weaknesses and try to build make your strength more uh, more strong right now the strategies strategic approach if you see the strategic approach students i if you ask me there is no rocket science very easy we try to make concept we under we read all the topics every student try to understand in their best possible way so we have to complete and when you have read a topic for example you have read immunization is your reading of immunization help, helping you in solving the mcq so one way is that which we when we start our preparation we do this way we read and we solve question now we are very near to the exam so we'll go this way we as we will keep on solving questions and if we don't we are not able to solve that question we don't understand the concept we read it and this too will be always you have to do this revision revision as many times you revise students as many times you revise it is going to help you because revision is important because you have to ensure that whatever you know you know with clarity there should be clarity because there you have to read n number of uh, topics n number, number of subjects are there so you have to be whatever you have read that should be crystal clear the concept should be clear either i go in this way either i go in this way it help us in uh, uh, in solving the questions and understanding the concept now what i do let's take a the next box was concept now this is my favorite thing in community medicine why i say because i know students say a oh, community medicine oh you have to learn many data are there uh, you know very values i have to remember many formulas and it is epidemiology biostatistics it's very, it's not difficult it's difficult so let's understand that community medicine can be also understood in a and we can have concept of community medicine why i say i give you an example students and just see what i give you an example just take this what you have to do you have to understand so what whenever we read anything we try to understand obviously this is the simple thing then what we do we try to implement or see is there any practical implementation of that so i'll explain how it what i am saying this so first we try to understand and then what i am saying just link your understanding with any practical implementation any practic practicality is linked to that or not and next is can you integrate now this integration is very important students first understanding simple any topic i am reading for example i am reading case control study cohort study whether i have understood in a best possible way or not can i can i think of my understanding in a practical way can i think in a can i do a study can i think of the in that way and the last one is integration now this will i'll just give you an example so that it makes you understand why these three boxes are very important <coughs> let's take take <coughs> let's take an example students and now just see this slide and this slide will help you in understanding how community medicines should be read and 
how it helps you to integrate the topic, how it helps you not only integrate within the subject, now between the subject also, you can correlate with OBSGYNI, you can correlate with pediatrics, you can correlate with microbiology also. You have studied there also, you have studied, you are studying microbiology also, you are reading pediatrics also, you are reading OBSGYNI also, and you are reading community medicine also, just to give an example. So can we integrate and just see how it helps? You know, everybody knows that in RMNCH, uh, there is one component pregnancy. Then we have exclusive breastfeeding and then complementary feeding with continuous continuation of breastfeeding. We know these words. We read in, uh, in, in physiology also. We have read, we have read in, uh, yeah, what do you say, in, in pediatrics, ops guide, in community medicine also we read. Now what I am trying to show, you see this. Pregnancy we know 9 months. Exclusive breastfeeding we say first 6 months. And then from 7 month onward, it is complementary feeding with continuation of breastfeeding. Now, if I tell you students this 9 months, so this is a rough slide. Suppose you are, you are trying to under, you are trying to read RMNCH and you are trying to read this pregnancy exclusive breastfeeding, com, uh, complementary feeding with continuation, uh, continuation breastfeeding. So this line when I draw, so I am just trying to see, okay, pregnancy 9 months, exclusive breastfeeding 6 months, complementary feeding with continuation till next, you know, until uh, 2 years. Now you see what happens. So this pregnancy 9 months is equal to almost 270 days, right? What I did, I wrote, I wrote 270 days. First year of life, 1 year 365 days and second year 365 days. Now you add this 365, 365 and 270 students, it becomes 1000 day. So you must have heard there is a 1000 day model where we are trying to ensure that we give adequate care during pregnancy, during first two years of life. So if you add this 270, 365 and 365, it becomes 1000 day. So what I did, I did nothing. I just draw a line and I pregnancy exclusive breastfeeding, complementary feeding with continuation breastfeeding, I wrote. Then I thought, let's check where we are. Pregnancy, the moment I see the, the one indicator which is talked about, what is the maternal mortality ratio of India? So I have written here 113 per 1 lakh line because we are talking about pregnancy. So the most important indicator happens to be this. Similarly, for neonatal mortality, infant mortality, and then we can also talk about under 5 mortality. So I have just written three indicators, maternal mortality ratio, neonatal mortality uh, rate, uh, and infant mortality, which is the current status. So by this, you are talking about pregnancy, you are talking about first two years of life. So we should know okay where we are. So maternal mortality is 130, neonatal mortality is 23, infant mortality is 32. Okay. Fine. Now, during pregnancy, what are the things which we focus as far as program is concerned, as far as RMNCH is concerned? So we focus on ANC. So we say, oh, the government of India, the guideline says that the pregnancy should be identified at the earliest and it should be registered within first trimester and at least four minimum ANC should be there. Then comes, okay, a pregnant lady, we also advocate for IFA consumption. Okay, IFA consumption, what the guidelines says, 180 days starting from second trimester. You have you also go for deworming in second trimester, vaccination. So these are the things, common things which happens during pregnancy. Program linkages. Now you have Janni Suraksha Yojana, institutional delivery promotion, Janni Sisu Suraksha Karekram, where out-of-pocket expenditure is reduced because what we do, the pregnant lady is from the, her house. She is brought to the hospital, taken care, delivery is done, and she is dropped back. So all the expenditure is taken under this program, JSSK, Janni Shishu Suraksha Karikram. Then you have PMSMA, Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matrita Abhyan. What is that? That is on 9th of every month, uh, high risk pregnancy has to be seen by a gynecologist or a medical officer. Laksha program, labor room quality assurance, where you're trying to improve the labor room. Now we have a Suman program, Surakshit Matrita Abhyan, uh, Surakshit Matrita Aswasan. What is that? Zero preventable maternal deaths. 
and then we have also one program pradhan mantri matridu vandana yojana where you are giving 5000 rupees for the first delivery then you have a nutritional requirement anemia so what i am not teaching this what i am training so when i saw this pregnancy this period i know this mmr and i am trying to link the program also trying to link the topics so this is helping me here now coming to first two years of life you see you have infant young and child feeding mother absolute affection indian newborn action plan home based newborn care hbnc hby home based home based care of young child imnci integrated management of neonatal and childhood illness facility based newborn care nbcc newborn care corner newborn stabilization units sncu nrc sans is a new program no mission indradhanush intens intensified mission indradhanush routine immunization nrc rbsk anemia mukh bharat now student this programs we read individually separately no because all these programs are related within this this age group so i have just wrote there can be more programs i just wrote the important ones here so when i am seeing this slide i am trying to link this program i am trying to link this program trying to understand where all this works right so this is the program with regard to the children okay now i see where what is, so this is the current status the indicator what the national health policy because the recent national health policy is 2017 one so what is the target as far as the guideline says as far as the national health policy says okay we want that maternal mortality ratio should be 100 by 2020 infant mortality rate to be 20 so when by 2020 we want that mmr should be 100 at present 20, 2016 18data says it is 130 so from 130 we want to come to 100 so so what i have done so it's a linkage is no i know where we are and i also know where we want to reach as per the national health policy similarly for other indicators with regard to this to topic i am saying imr 28 under 5 mortality 23 neonatal mortality 16 so you are at 23 you want to come to 16 single digit still birth rate indian newborn action plan inap program we talked it is saying about single digit nmr neonatal mortality and still birth rate tfr to 2.1 anc coverage family planning no full immunization met need of family planning and stunting so all this indicators which the national health policy has kept so i am putting here only so this is the national target now i'll give you one more thing what is the global target so sdg third goal you know good health and well being is the third goal what is the the important indicators with regard to rmnch maternal mortality ratio reduction to less than 70 per 1 lakh live birth now students this was the question in neat pg 2020 also now you see i started from here where we are what are the programs how we understand this topic and what is the national target i wrote and then what is the global target with regard to mmr with regard to under 5 with regard to neonatal mortality or with regard to sexual reproductive health now this slide is helping not only to understand the program not only understand the you know uh, rmnch it is also helping to integrate what where we are what is the target what is the global target what are the programs and how it is helping why now how this can be integrated now all this this is the way you integration comes this is the way you know understanding becomes easy the moment i talk about for example neonatal mortality so my mind i should be in a position to understand the programmatic intervention taken by the sis by the government and what is the target national and global right so this integration helps you students and this is this is a slide just take a page start doing this okay i just i i will try to understand this component and try to bring all these programs all this information which is there what is the global target what is the national target what are the activities which we which the government is ensuring this is an example of integration of your knowledge why because you in books when we read programs are separate rmnc is separate and in pediatrics also you read so like, why not integrate so many things you can understand by one integrated approach 
please students start thinking in this way the subject will be also interesting and you will be able to remember the values also without any problem otherwise what happens okay i have to remember the values okay mmr is this imr is this nmr is this under 500 okay how much will you remember you have to link it then only just to give you an example you see anc coverage to 90 percent skill birth attendant to 90 percent met need of family planning 90 percent now three different things 90 percent 90 percent 90 percent full elimination 90 percent can i say by 2025 government of india is saying that anc coverage skill birth attendant coverage full elimination coverage met need of family planning which is important component of rmnch should be 90 percent simple why to read in isolation anc separate sba separate indicators fi separate family all these are interrelated so this is the way students your many topics will be covered your understanding will be clear and you will be able to solve the questions also with ease yeah and if you see in the bottom what i have i have done i have also given you the links no because there are many changes going on so what are where will you get these all indicators where will you get this important recent update which happens so these are the links from the who sites uh, national health policy uh, national health, uh, portal site and then you can also get from nhm site uh, nfhs sites srs site so these are the important links which i will share in last also so that you understand from where you get the, all the important informations okay now if i summarize what i did there i have selected a thematic area right i selected what was the thematic area in that example 1000 day how did 1000 day become 270 plus 365 plus 365 right so this is about pregnancy first year second year now when i'm talking about what are the topics to be covered in that thematic area what are the concepts related to that topic? Integration for the holistic approach. You know, the, the moment I read in that way, there is an integration. It will help in OPS and gynae. It is going to help in pediatrics. No, it is going to help in, in community medicine, definitely. And any national level target is there, if it is there. What is the global target, if it is there? And last, any recent changes has been made in that, or any recent change update has to be included so whenever you are doing an integration whenever you are trying to comprehend think on this line students your understanding your approach will be easy you will be covering maximum of the topic in less time and your understanding will be also clear and you will be able to remember the values also okay now you have your notes you have you can improvise on the notes and how do you improvise on the notes? I'll give you an example. First of all, you can get notes. You have self-prepared. It's best. The best part is that if you prepare your notes on your on, the way you understand, that is the best thing because you you have written, you have understood, so you will be uh, in a better position to understand your notes. You can improvise on that. You can add many recent things or any update is there you want to change you have you have to change something you can do that that also helps in concurrent updation of the nodes and you can integrate also with the topic if required or if it is present i'll just give you an example you know students everybody knows that hdi is a very important topic no? So HDI, what? Suppose this is my notes. Now I have prepared. So we have dimensions, longevity, knowledge, and income. Right? We have indicators. We have dimension index, and then we have HDI. So this was my notes I prepared. What happened in that note? I thought, okay, the how to calculate? So we have minimum and maximum indicators also. So let's put this here. There here only. Right? So I have added this health, education, standard of living and this indicators and what is the minimum value and what is the maximum value. Then I thought, okay, can I also know when should I say it is a high HDI, when should I say very high HDI, when should I say medium HDI, when should I say low HDI. So I wrote here these values. Okay. Okay. Then I thought, what is the current status? 
2019 HDI data, if you see, India was at 129th position students. Of late, 2020 data has come, India is at 131th, India is 131 rank. So this is my notes, for example, this changes has happened. So what I did, I had a space, I just, I, I mentioned this component, right? So that I know, I understand the recent update. And I have written here, I know the basics of HDI. What is HDI? What are the dimensions? What are the indicators? And how HDI is classified? India was 129th, I was knowing. Now the recent has recent 2020 data says, no, India is not at 9, uh, 120, India is 131. So I'll update this part. So this is the way you improvise. Now this was your notes. This was, uh, suppose it was 129, you just change this to 131 because this has been the, re, uh, the latest update. So this is the way you prepare. No? So this is the improvisation which you, you can do, which, you, which should be done. So everything, the understanding, the current updation, the, and from where did you get? Now somebody can ask, how do you know this? So source, we have a source of data, UNDP. United Nations Development Program, they uh, declare UNDP results, uh, HDI results on a yearly basis. So I have this source, I got 131. Now, so you expect, every year you are expecting that uh, the ranking may change, India can come down, India can go up, so and the values can also change. So this updation has to be done. So this understanding has to be made by ourselves. Okay. Now, when I talk about high yielding topics, every topic is important, but definitely there are a few high yielding topics like we should give importance to communicable disease, non-communicable disease. Now, this is an integrated studying approach. You read this in microbiology, you read in pharmacology, you also read in medicine. So this can be integrated from there also, even in pediatrics also. National health programs, students, my understanding, my experience says, National health programs should be always read with the topic concerned because it helps you to understand the program easily. Otherwise, if you read the program in isolation, it becomes very difficult to comprehend and integrate. That is the reason that concept topic which I said, please integrate, please try to correlate, core then you, all the programs will be easy. Otherwise, it is, it is another topic, you know, another topic has to be read. Let's integrate with the main topic because programs are made for what? Programs are made to implement just to you know reduce the burden of disease and improve the health system. So national program epidemiology and biostatistics should be always read concurrently because this both are correlated. Concept of health and disease, healthcare delivery system, RMNCHAN, environment, biomedical waste, disaster management, occupational, and this recent update. This is also a part of each. You can have a recent update anywhere. No, anything can, new thing can pop it. So you, this should be a part of all the topic. So this also should not be read in isolation, should be also a part of all this topic. Now coming to formulas, values, numerical based questions. Now this, is very important with regard to understanding why I say because if I talk about formula now let's take a simple example I'll give you an example you know if I say what is incidence oh incidence number of new cases per you know, at population at risk and we express in thousand right this is the general understanding but I am saying, what is incidence? New cases. I am saying, what is the total population? How many new cases you have? Suppose in 5000 population, you have 50 cases. So how many in 1000 students? So what I do? 50 by 5000 into 1000. So this goes 5, this goes 10. So 10 per 1000 population. So we have to understand this. We, I am not dependent on this. I, if I know this formula, I will be able to calculate incidence. If I don't know the formula, I will not be able to calculate incidence. No. Number of new cases in the total population and you are expressing only 1000. 
so that is in sense so if you understand so i i am not using any formula in 5050 so in 1000 how much so that is my incidence so what i am trying to say what whichever formula we have relative risk attributable risk or ratio population attributable risk everything has got a formula now please try to understand that formula so that you can you know you are not dependent on to learn that formula you you have understood in that possible in, in that way so you are using that i am not i am not using here incidence formula i am not using i am just for example let's take relative risk relative risk is what you are comparing incidence in two groups exposed group and non exposed group. just you are taking a ratio simple so you know how to calculate incidence the and then you are trying to take a ratio right so that formulas understanding epidemiology screening biostatistics demography vital statistics you will have all formulas if i remove this biostatistics and if i see all other topics all other formulas you can understand and once you have understood so please believe me please understand the formula if you have understood the burden of remembering will be not there to certain extent you have to remember in biostatistics so what we do we enlist all the four important formulas try to comprehend in the best possible way so that we can use it with our understanding not with uh, with our learning we have learned we have we i remember it so i will solve no if i don't remember i will not be able to solve that should not be the issue you have understood you you can generate that formula definitely it is going to help you to remember those formula for long terms now coming to the values now indicators i am a mmr you know under 5 mortality rate hdi many values and number of values is expected they can ask now we should not treat it as a separate entity you have to bring infant mortality rate for example i just give you 32 per 1000 life birth is infant mortality in india now when it, what was before it was 33 so we will i will never read this as a separate entity i will always read as a part of when i am reading rmncha this should be a part of this mmr i am talking it should be a part of maternal health when we are reading either you are reading in obs gain either you are reading in uh, in community medicine please bring these things here it should be a integral part of this not a separate thing then what happens your you will never forget the values that is important last <coughs> what are the sources from where you get the values where you have to remember sustainable development goals 17 goals you have students third goal is health and there you have targets so please try to remember start from here because this is the global data global target 2030 by 2030 we have to reach you know, for example maternal mortality less than 70 then come to what is the government of means national health policy target what the government of india is saying what is okay this is the sdg target what is the national health policy saying so this is the global target this is the national target what is the status of india so where you get the sources source of information srs data nfhs data and you can when you have this targets when you are so these are my targets this is my exact status now to reach this target these are my strategies so you will have a global strategy you will have a national strategy you must have had national strategy plan for tb national strategic plan for hiv national strategic plan for malaria you have a global ntb strategy no you have a uh, n uh, malaria strategy no you have a rmnch strategy global then you have national level so this is the target we want to reach this is the status where we are and these are the strategies which will help us to reach so have we thought in this way if we have thought in this way the subject will be interesting also easy also and the values also you will remember students last numerical based questions as i said you require formulas please try to understand that formula if you have understood that formula your you it will become very easy you don't have to learn much and you can use those for uh, understanding to solve the numericals how do we do that 
lists for example if i am reading epidemiology right so i have to read i have to read measurement of mortality measurement of morbidity you know then i have to also calculate uh, if i am doing uh, case control study so i have to know odd ratio uh, cohort study or relative risk attributable risk population attributable risk so you have enlisted all the formulas this is done everyone does we have to understand that formula please try to understand no need to learn try to understand why the how this formula has been created once you have understood that then your remembrance becomes easy student you don't have to remember much it will become easy to solve the question also easy to remember the formula also and easy to understand the topic also and when you have done all those keep on revising student there is no other alternative to this you have to keep on revising keep on revising keep on revising as many revision as you can do and the best way of revision now at this moment is integrate it integrate integrate your any understanding uh, just take an example if i am talking about you know sdg 3.8 target is universal health coverage so universal health coverage when i when i start reading okay what is universal health coverage okay what is the government of india's program aishman bharat okay aishman bharat new program what are the components of aishman bharat A health and wellness center and uh, pmj okay what are the components of aishman bharat A, uh, health and wellness center so there are 12 services which has to be extended through health and wellness center what are those 12 services it's talking about rm and ch is talking about communicable disease talking about non communicable disease okay and what is this pmj it is an insurance scheme so start from that try to correlate so many topics you will be trying to and all those are integrated it's related to each other your revision becomes easy you remember the values also and it becomes the your your confidence also grows because you are linking it you are not only reading the topic in silos you are reading the integrated approach and revision is the key you have to keep on revision with the integration recent update this always you know it's a question how to ensure that i know all the recent update it's not possible for all of us to know all the recent update how do we know so where do we anticipate the recent update how do you end now nfhs 5 data has come now nfhs 4 data we code now nfhs 5 has come though the national data has not come state wise data has come so you know that nfhs srs these are the play, these are the sites or these are the source of current information which you can get global update you know, anything which is happening globally from where you get those information you get this information from the important websites credible source of information why not every uh, in a week can i log on internet we have everyone has access to internet who.int can we see anything new has come minister this is global thing you can get the information ministry of health and family welfare government of india any recent changes or update will come will come on this website national health mission website any new indicators or recent update census of india srs data niti aayog also we have nhs rc have we have and we have nfhs so i have listed the important ones there can be other also so these are the credible sources from where you can have access to the current update or recent update with regard to global with regard to india so this way you have to understand so recent update will not be on a separate topic it is a part and parcel of each other topic which you are reading students right and the last one which i say this is separate this something works for me something may not work for you what the what is working for you may not work for me so it depends upon each each individual students they have their own way of stand, understanding i have my way of understanding you have own way of standing any but at the end of the day the goal is same what is the goal uh, let's crack it so you get the seat in the pg that is the ultimate goal so this was my way of understanding the topic subject students try once and i hope this is going to help you a lot with that note i'll stop it here i hope i was able to give my uh, my experience i just shared so that it helps you in understanding the topic and it the most important component it makes the subject interesting students
with that note thank you very much take care bye bye